What's going on good folks? I'm RJ. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I apologize for that. <clears throat> but we're back. Um I'm coming with a new style of video for y'all tonight. Uh basically, I don't know if you guys are familiar with snakehead fish. Um I'll be making a northern snakehead fish tonight. Um a good friend of mine, shout out to you Chad. Uh gave me this for me to try it. I've never had it. Apparently it's an invasive species, but from what I'm understanding, it's pretty good. So, um, if you guys are interested in watching me go out, actually catch things and, and, you know, cook them and things like that, I'm all for it. That's what we're gonna do. So with that being said, let's get into it. I have it, uh, the filet already cut up in portions, as you see here, okay? Um, I have my skillet on already. Um, right now, this is on a medium heat. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit in the bottom of the pan. And I'm gonna put some compound butter in it that I make. And in a later video, I'll actually explain what I put into that compound butter. All right back over here and cut the heat down a little bit. You don't want it too high. You don't want to cook your fish too fast. All right? But, it smells so good. You can actually smell the aroma coming from that compound butter already. And it's a really good, good recipe. And like I said, I'm gonna share that with you guys at another time. So, um, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna put a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on it, okay? Do some pepper, some black pepper. And not too much seasoning because I really want to taste it. And some Creole seasoning. I'm a big fan of getting both sides. You do both sides, not just one. And I'm gonna give my honest opinion on what I think about it. So like I said, from what I hear, it's very, very good. We'll also, let the lady try some as well. It will also be her first. All right, make sure she's seasoned up real good. Like is it a, uh, you see I did a light seasoning on it, nothing too heavy. Um, different type of texture a fish, but uh, here we go. Let's see if I can get a small piece up there in the corner there. We're just gonna go ahead and just let her cook. Northern snakehead fish. If you've had snakehead before, if you like it, um, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. If you have some good recipes you can give me on making this, put it down in the comments as well. You know, I love learning new recipes and uh, things like that. Sit on the other side. Cooks really good.
well as make it. Man, that smells amazing. There we have it. So I got my uh, snakehead fish. Okay. I got some green beans and uh, just some corn. You know, try to eat a little healthy. So, like I said, this is my first time trying this. Um, I'm excited, a little nervous at the same time. But uh, here we go. I'm gonna give you my honest as well. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good I can't even speak. Um this is by far one of the best fish. I've had in a long time. Chad, thanks, man. Um, mm. Mm. Babe, let me try this. Mm. So here's the lady. This is Ali. Hey. All right, let's see what he cooked up. It's real good, isn't it? Really good. If you guys have any other recipes you can give me, um, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Uh, if there's anything else you guys would like me to know about uh, the snakehead, please leave that down in the comments as well. Um, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Uh, I think the look of it and the name kept me away from it for such a long time, but I had no idea what I was missing. Chad, you're the best man, I really appreciate you. And hey, listen guys, if you're new to the channel, go subscribe, become part of the family, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.